everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be my Holiday 2019 Sephora VIB Rouge Sale Haul. This sale started on November 1st for Rouge members, and for VIB and Beauty Insider members, it starts November 7th. I will have all the information on the sale in the description box as far as dates and percentages go, so you can check that if you are curious, but I have a bunch of products to talk about today, and before I get into that, I did want to quickly mention that I'm wearing the Conspiracy Palette on my eyes today and I am obsessed with the way that this look turned out. I plan on filming a couple more videos with this palette as well as the mini controversy palette and the Tati Beauty palette. I have a bunch of videos up on my channel already so I will link them in the description box. I have giveaways in some of those videos so go check those out if you haven't already. Um, I will have all these products linked in the description box ooh, description box for you guys. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's go ahead and get started. I just about had a heart attack because I was gonna pick up my phone and I saw this on here and I was like, oh my God, I thought it was like a bug or a spider, but it's literally a, like, a part of a fake eyelash, so. Anyway, this happens to me on the daily. I don't know why I'm like surprised by this anymore. So, okay, I have a bunch of products to talk about today. I have a ton of makeup. I also have a couple of skincare items and then some like other like hair, perfume kind of things. So we're gonna go ahead and just start with this fun fella right here. This is the Sephora Favorites Deluxe Perfume Sampler. They have a couple of different perfume samplers this year. They have the Deluxe one, which has the actual little mini bottles of perfume. And then they also have another one that is $65 that has just the little mini testers. And basically what you do with these sets is you sniff these, you try them out, and then there's a little certificate in here that you bring to Sephora and you can redeem a full size of whichever one you want at no extra cost. So this guy right here is $75. It is a $128 value. It's a really good deal. You get a full size perfume plus all six of these and I just love these things so much. I personally really like the fragrance Tom Ford Black Orchid, so I'm going to think about getting this one as the full size, but I definitely am going to try the rest of these out before I make my decision. So this is a great gift for somebody. It's a great gift for yourself and just something I really, really wanted to mention. Um, they also have one for men with the little mini samplers as well. So definitely check this out if you are in the market for a gift. I am sweating so bad. Wow, we're just starting and we're already like, ugh. Even though I'm sweating so bad right now, I gotta say, my makeup is holding up pretty well. I'm trying out these Juvia's Place shade sticks. I got these from Ulta. I got four different shades to like play around with some highlighting, contouring, and then just like foundation. And I'm really liking the way that they're looking so far. I've had it on for a few hours and so far so good. I'll definitely update you guys with those. So anyway, we're going to get back to the haul. I have a couple of skincare products to talk about. The first one is from Shiseido. These are the facial cottons. I'm sorry if you can hear some loud noise. My mom is painting our foyer and there's like a ladder moving around. So if I'm... I'm just apologizing in advance. Um, so anyway, um, these are the facial cottons. I am obsessed with these. I first started using these when I purchased some from TJ Maxx and I found out that the smaller packs from TJ Maxx are about $4. This one is $12 and I actually think it's like the same price about to just go ahead and get the big pack from Sephora. So I thought since it was 20% off, I might as well go ahead and pick this up. I love them so much. They're so soft these are the best cotton pad type things I've ever used in my entire life and I know it sounds silly to spend money on cotton pads and it's definitely a luxury but oh my god they're amazing next I picked up this set from Ula Henriksen this is the three makeup wonders set it comes with three products we've got the wonderful double cleanser the banana bright eye cream and the sheer transformation perfecting moisturizer I love Ula Henriksen so freaking much I use their products every single day one of my favorite skincare brands of all time their toners are incredible my favorite one is the dark spot toner I love their moisturizer the banana bright eye cream I just so obsessed with everything from their brand so um, I hadn't tried these two products and this was a fun little set so I thought I would go ahead and try this out and then I'm almost out of my banana bright eye cream which is the eye cream that I've been using every single day uh, morning and night so I thought I would go ahead and get this because I know I'll use this as well so 
I highly, highly recommend anything from Ula Hendrickson. Um, but like I said, the Dark Spot Toner is probably my favorite product from them. I use that every single night. So yeah, that's that. I have a couple of hair care products. So the first one is from Way. I actually got this before the VIB sale, but it's been sitting in a bag, so I thought I would go ahead and mention it in today's video. This is the Super Dry Shampoo. I can't wait to try this out. I am an oily person. I have oily skin, I have oily hair, and I use dry shampoo almost every single day. So this is a super dry shampoo, and it says, that time of the week again, this super absorbent dry shampoo uses volcanic minerals and rice starch to soak up your heaviest oil flow. Plus our fresh Melrose Place scent and easy applicator to deliver clean hair for when you've got that not so fresh feeling. So. I'm really excited about this. It's like a dry shampoo on steroids basically and I'll definitely let you guys know how this works for me. The other hair product that I picked up is from Briogeo. This is the Don't Despair Repair Honey Moisture Deep Conditioning Mask. I'm personally a big fan of their regular Don't Despair Repair Moisture Mask for your hair and I thought this one was just so freaking cute. I love the packaging on it and I don't know I just had to try it so I went ahead and picked this up as well and then the rest of what I have to show you guys is all makeup so we're gonna go ahead and get into some products from Patrick Ta. The first product is this blush. I actually just saw these on Sephora's website and then I went to the store and they were there and I was so excited because I couldn't tell which shade I wanted to pick up. There were three shades. I ended up going it with the shade She's Passionate, which I'll show you what it looks like. Um, there was one that was more like cooler toned. There was like a lighter peachy kind of one. And then this was the more like true like peachy peachy one. So this is the packaging. It's so cute. I love it. And here is the actual product right here. It's like a nice coral shade, has a nice warm tone to it, and I love warm tone blushes, so I cannot wait to try this out. I have like one Patrick Ta thing, <laughs> and it's the spray highlighter, but other than that, I haven't tried a bunch from the brand, so I'm really excited to try this out. And then I also decided to pick up this set right here, which actually comes with the fan and then a mini of the We Love Her Pink Pearl Major Glow Highlighting Mist. So I have one of these in the full size, but not this shade. So I'm excited to have that. And then also the fan, which I could honestly like use right now because it's freaking hot here in Florida. It's actually not even that hot. Like I think it's like 75 degrees outside, but like... I don't know. I just, I feel like it's just, I don't know. I'm just, I just sweat a lot. It's, there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> so, um, oh yeah, baby, that feels good. <laughs> and then I'll go ahead and spray the little highlighter here because I'm really interested in the shade. So I'm just going to go like, woo, right on the back of my hand. So pretty. You can see it right there. Oh my gosh. So much fun. This is not like, a, I don't know, I feel like this is sort of a crazy, like messy product, but it's still really fun to use. And I'm really excited for the more like cooler winter months because I'll be less oily and I can use something more intense like this and not look like a crazy person. So this Patrick Toss set here is called the She's Extra Duo. And I actually grabbed the last one that was on the shelf at my Sephora and I'm already obsessed. Next, I have one product from Tarte. I was not impressed with Tarte's holiday um, collections this year for some reason. Normally, they come out with like a crazy blush palette and I was like so excited for that this year. I pretty much buy that every single year, but instead, I think they came out with this. So this is the Nine Ways to Shine Cheek Wardrobe and this was $35, but it is a $171 value. And I was really um, interested when I saw this. So basically you get three different like stacks of products here. Um, this is what they look like. And there are three products within each stack. So I don't know, oh, how, did it, how does this work? Okay, so um, it's like a little interesting mechanism. So this is what the component looks like. The top layer you lift up like a regular compact, but then the other two products kind of like swivel out from underneath which is kind of like gimmicky if you ask me. This is what the more like chrome, uh, smoky gray kind of packaging one looks like. 
Um, it's cute. It looks like we have blushes, bronzer, boom, blushes, bronzers, and highlighters within these trios. So this is the first one. Um, the next one here is kind of like the rose gold packaging. This one has like a traditional like bronzer blush highlight situation here. I'm trying to show you like so that you can actually see it. Um, and then there's one other one. This one right here is the gold one, and this is like probably my personal favorite one. It has like some peachy cheek products and then a really pretty highlighter. I will go ahead and do swatches of these for you guys really quick. I'm already not loving the packaging though. Already just gonna say that right away. It's so awkward and I keep thinking I'm gonna break it. Here are all the shades swatched on my hand. I did them in trio, so this is the first one, the second one, and then the third one. Overall, the swatches look really, really nice. They're very pigmented. The only only shade I couldn't really see myself getting use out of is this one right here which is the top shade in this trio but other than that they're all really pretty and I definitely think I could totally use the rest of them so I am really excited about this again like I said the packaging is like eh. I wish it was a palette I love blush palettes that's like one of my favorite makeup products ever but I'm still gonna give these a shot and see if I can get past the packaging. Next I picked up a couple of products from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I picked up two pairs of their lashes just because I was curious. I know these are a new product and these were from the Norvina end cap. I was so excited to see the whole entire end cap dedicated to Norvina's like collection and I just thought it was really really pretty. I have all three of the regular size pro palettes but they had the two minis there and I didn't pick them up. I was going to but I don't know. I just felt like $30 for that palette when you're spending $60 on the whole huge palette. I don't know. I just decided against it this time, um, but I did pick up two pairs of lashes. The first one is in the style So Hollywood, and then this one is in the style Dreamy, and I just thought they were really cute, and I liked the packaging, so um, I thought I would get those just to try out in like a full face of first impressions or something like that, um, but you guys know my favorite lashes are D-Star lashes, of course. I'm wearing them in the style Camella and then I also just saw on Instagram that my collaboration with D-Star Lashes just restocked so I will link all of that down below as well for you guys and you can use code PAGE for 20% off your D-Star Lashes purchase so anyway the other product that I got from ABH is this loose glitter this one is in the shade Carnival and it's just this, like really pretty corally kind of color and I don't know I don't really play around with loose glitters very often love a good pressed glitter though um my with love cosmetics glitters are my favorite as you guys know I need to like crack those back out again soon because I miss them <laughs> I've just been reviewing so many eyeshadow palettes recently so um I did pick this up as well and I'm really excited to play around with that then I picked up a product from Milk. This is one of their highlighters. This is the Flex Highlighter in the shade Lit. I'm like shaking it and I can hear something shaking around, so I'm really scared that this is like broken, but I guess we're gonna find out together. So here is the highlighter right here. We're gonna open her up and see. Oh no, we're good. What was shaking? I guess this was shaking in there. This is what the highlighter looks like. It's so pretty. It's like really soft, almost has a gel-ish consistency, but look at that swatch, you guys. Holy crap. That's incredible. Also, by the way, I know underneath my nails looks dirty, but I promise you they're not. Just like for some reason, when I went with the black dip powder this time, it looked so weird underneath my nails. So I'm sorry, I'm gonna try to avoid <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna try to avoid showing you. <laughs> I'm gonna try to avoid showing you guys that. But look at this highlighter. That is stunning. I cannot wait to use this. It's a really unique formula, just like by the feel of it already. I can tell I'm gonna love it. So I'm really happy that I decided to pick that up. I also saw this, and actually my mom saw this and pointed it out. This is from NARS, and I actually don't use or purchase a lot of NARS products. They are a little bit more pricey, and I don't have anything against that or against NARS I just for some reason I don't gravitate towards the brand like I do some other brands but I saw this palette and it was so beautiful this is the Inferno eyeshadow palette and I'm guessing this is a holiday launch like part of their holiday collection they also had a cheek palette like a blush palette but I decided to not get that even though the packaging had me drooling I have like a NARS palette that I got last holiday mm, I don't know if it was last holiday but like 
probably about a year ago or so um, and so I didn't feel the need to purchase the new cheek palette but look at the packaging on this you guys it is glittery and red the cheek palette was glittery and pink which is like oh it took everything in me to not purchase it <laughs> but anyway this is what the palette looks like and I've actually never used NARS eyeshadows before and I've never had a NARS eyeshadow palette so I'm really excited to try this out here is what the palette looks like it has some beautiful pressed glitters in there and then also some other really pretty shades and I really want to use this in like a full face of holiday makeup so that video will be coming really really soon um, so I'm not gonna swatch this I'll save it for that video because it'll be kind of like a first impressions type thing so i um, really excited about that I think this was like $60 which is really expensive for such a small eyeshadow palette but I had to do it I, I, I it's time that I give NARS a chance next I picked up a couple of products from Hourglass and Hourglass again is a very expensive luxury brand and I have loved products from that brand and I have also hated products from the brand so um, I saw their new holiday palettes this year and I fell in love I have the original like three panned um, ambient lighting powder palettes that like everybody got when like Hourglass was still like a newer brand on YouTube and I love that thing to death it's so amazing um, so I decided to pick up both of the holiday palettes this year. They've come out with several scents, but I've never purchased any of them. I don't have any of their blushes or anything like that. So I thought this would be a great time to try them out. So this first one is the Ambient Lighting Blush Quad. And then it says Ghost. So I don't know if this is like the Ghost Collection or what, but this palette is just so beautiful this is what the component looks like i already have fingerprints all over it the back of it is just like a clear plastic which honestly feels a little bit cheap i'm not gonna lie i wish that it was this like reflective packaging over the entire thing but this is what the palette looks like right here i am so obsessed with this these are smaller pans than their regular individual blushes but how often do you really go through a blush you guys <laughs> so or i mean i don't i know i don't go through them very often so i'm totally fine with having a smaller pan with more colors so this is what it looks like i will swatch these for you i haven't even <gasps> played with this yet oh my god it's so smooth and so pigmented you guys here are the swatches of the blush palette we've got four shades and i think they have the shade names on the back so maybe not <laughs> okay they have them on the box so the shades that they have are surreal effect brilliant nude lucid glow and infinite flush so if you don't have any of those shades i think this is a great way to try out some of their products the other palette that i got is the ambient edits ambient lighting edit ghost and this is the larger palette and this comes with six pans of product again here is the packaging the beautiful reflective on the front and then it has that same plastic on the back and then they, both of these palettes have a really nice mirror by the way this is what the palette looks like right here we have a bunch of different colors oh i'm just now realizing it does say the shade names on the back so we've got dim light diffuse light iridescent strobe light ethereal if eternal bronze light sorry i can't read iridescent rose and sublime flush so there are not any repeats i don't believe no there are no repeats between the two palettes which i think is great so i did pick those up they are both pretty expensive i think this one's like 80 dollars, which is crazy but i haven't tried any new products from hourglass in a really long time so i am really excited about both of those and then to finish things off i have a few products from the brand fenty i saw that this set was coming out and i knew i needed it this is the glossy posse mini gloss bomb collection this has five mini gloss bombs in it i love the gloss bomb formula i have two shades i have fussy and then i have the original one so this little set here comes in a tin which oh there it goes i had some trouble opening but here are the glosses right here so freaking beautiful the five shades starting over here at this pink shade are 
Pretty Please, Fussy, Confetti, Hot, Chocolate, and Cheeky. So the only one that I have is Fussy, which is this one right here, and I have the full size. These are all minis, and again, I don't go through lip glosses, like entire tubes of lip gloss very often, so I'm totally fine with the minis, and I'm really, really excited to play around with these. I'm actually going to put one on. I can't, mm, yeah, I'll do the pink one, like just for fun. Right now I have on a lip liner from KKW. This is the lip liner in the shade Nude One. Uh, this is my first time wearing it and I'm obsessed. Um, and then I have a little bit of this Charlotte Tilbury Blondie Gloss on top. But we're going to go in with some of the shade Pretty Please because I have this really fun pink eye going on and just like why not whoa that's pigmented that is so pretty holy crap i love oh my god okay so i will go ahead and swatch these for you too really quick here are swatches of all five of the glosses in the mini gloss bomb set i love all the shades oh i can't wait to wear them all oh so pretty then i decided to pick up the diamond bomb 2 all over diamond veil i was not going to purchase this product because I was really excited about it. I was like, oh, I got to get that because I love the first one that they came out with last year. But then I saw this one and I saw that it was kind of like a, what the? What is that one? Hello? Well, I don't think that's supposed to happen. The packaging just kind of like broke off, which is so weird. Like the outside of it just popped off of the back. So, um, and it doesn't really click back into place very well. So I, that kind of sucks. But anyway, this is in the shade Hollow At Me. And I saw that it was like a duochrome kind of like holographic effect product, which I wasn't super excited about. I liked the one last year and how it was just like a white silvery kind of color. Um, I have a ton of these like holographic shifting highlighters, which you can't even like see that really. But um, this one is really pretty. It's kind of like a peachy pinky color. I just wanted something a little bit more like wearable slash normal. But I mean, honestly, it's fine. It's really cute and nice. And after like seeing it in stores a couple times, I finally was like, okay, yes, I need that. And then the last product that I picked up in store from the sale is from Fenty. Again, this is the Liquid Diamond Mom. This is like a rollerball um, glitter and it's in the shade Roll and Dice. It is so cute. It's honestly a lot smaller than I thought it would be when I saw it. I think on like Trend Mood or possibly Instagram or Sephora. So anyway, this is what it looks like right here. And it is a little roller ball. And when you roll it on, you get lots and lots of fun glitter. And I love that this is just a white plain glitter, just like the original Diamond Bomb. So I am very excited about this product. I feel like it was kind of expensive for the like size of the product but i don't think you use like a ton of it at once so yeah i just thought this was really cute and i cannot wait to use this it's such like i don't know it totally gives me holiday vibes and i just love glitter all the time so i basically live in glitter so i had to pick this up now i did want to mention that i did order a couple of items online so i could possibly do an online sephora vib resale haul for you guys if you'd be interested in that i ordered some really fun things that i didn't see in store and i can't wait to show you guys what i got um so yeah that's all that i picked up in store like i said i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up i have a ton of these like sephora hauls on my channel so i will link my playlist down below in case you're interested in binging some videos i would really appreciate it <laughs> so anyway i love you guys so so much i hope you all have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next one bye